Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be modding my flip fins because I got some new ones. And my light kind of is being weird on this side and the back one is completely stopped working. I think I broke it just because I've been playing with it. Like you can see, it looks like a capacitor is in there. And this one's starting to do the same thing. I kind of don't like that rattling noise, so I'm gonna fix it. And I've had this idea for a minute. So what you'll need is some silicone. So this idea I got from just yo-yos and how you put silicone in the ring areas. I don't I don't remember what they call it. You just uh, replace, you take the O-ring out of a yo-yo and you put silicone in it instead. It plays real nice. It always seemed to, uh, you know, stay in there and it had string pulling on it all the time. So I figured this might work. It's more like an experiment. So I'm going to be putting silicone in these grooves and inside these areas to add weight to the entire thing. We'll see how it plays. So you'll need something to pry these shields off. And I have this tool right here that I think is thin enough to get into these. Alright, so now I'm going to try to take these out without breaking them. Because I could maybe use them for something else. So this will be interesting, removing the lights. But I've seen people do videos where they put pennies or nickels inside of here to add weight. Which is not a bad idea, but I feel like that's been done. So I wanted to try the silicone idea. The silicone won't pop out. Yeah, these shields, uh, some of them are, are really in there. So you might need to use pliers. Okay, so to get the, the lights out, you're going to have to use some other tools. I, I ended up using a screwdriver. I was able to pry it out. And they're, they're stuck in there pretty good. This one I think just broke because it became loose. So what I'm gonna do is fill this up with silicone. Okay, so silicone can get pretty messy. So you wanna be careful with it. It's just stuff gushing out already. Yeah, you want to get flowable silicone because it's able to pull out and this stuff's pretty nasty so kind of reminds me of like oil. But I don't want to waste the whole thing on the one side. Stuff doesn't stop. This is kind of cool. And it's ever so slightly going to the edges. I think. I think I'm good on this side. Now it says one hour, so I guess I'm just gonna have to chill and wait for this side to dry. It's gonna look cool. Okay, it's the next morning, and this is uh, pretty much cured. So it's time to do the back.
Oh, I've pretty much used an entire tube. I don't think I can use this for anything else, really. I mean, it's got like a little bit of something left, but. Okay, now it's done. It's 100% cured on both sides, and it plays really nice. And I like how it's like squishy. It's like super squishy. It feels cool. So yeah, this turned out way better than I expected. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out. One thing I noticed is that it kind of reduces that clacking sound. It's still there, but since it's not hollow anymore, it is pretty much dampened. It definitely made the weight a lot more friendly <laughs> it's not light now it feels like proper so I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up like I can see on the edges it's kind of peeling just cuz it got off on the edge I don't think this could peel out but I'm not sure it I grab it a lot right it's silicone so it's deep in there but the fact that you like grab it and twist it a lot might wear and tear on it but I think for the most part it's good so I'm gonna like make a little clip video or something right here So yeah, after playing with this for a while, this is a really good mod, a really good hack to the flip fins. It adds a really nice amount of weight. It makes it feel a little bit more sturdy. You could probably do this same thing while it has lights in it, but I just waited until mine needed it. I'm sure the lights would light up the entire silicone. You could also possibly take the shields off a little better and then put them back. So you could put silicone in and then put the foot pin shield over it. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. I've been playing with it so much that these plastic guards right here are bending. So you can see them like poking out right there. So they're getting smashed back so hard from me doing all these tricks. But yeah, so far this one's kind of holding up. This mod will probably give it a little bit of extra life. So yeah, go give it a try. It's only like a couple bucks for a tube of silicone. Just remember, you want like flowable silicone. One that you'll pour in and it'll just ooze and spread into the gaps. So yeah, go try it out. It's a pretty good hack.